Hey folks, Quill18 here and welcome to episode two of our RimWorld series where we are going to try to pursue the Arco Nexus victory. We have started with the soul, the soul survivor. Now that's Fallout, right? Anyway, the, the single um, colonist start. We've got Hope over here, who's not necessarily optimized. I'm really happy we rolled fast walker on here. That's great. And her passion for constru construction certainly be useful. The important part was uh, she needed to start with good social skills so that we could recruit more people a little easier. For now, let's hope this episode, uh, who's got, I, I love our, our little wooden cottage here. I think we need to set up a bedroom for Hope because she is greedy. She wants an impressive bedroom. Impressive might be hard to hit, but we may as well see what we can do to keep her mood uh, higher up. We do also have to start her researching as well. First thing we're doing is we're harvesting a little bit of wild heal root here just so that we've got it available for us so that we don't have to use our glitter world medicine immediately. And then, yeah, after that, we'll set up some construction. I think even though it might not be... It, it, no, there's no might. I don't think it's optimal in any way whatsoever, but we're going to go and start off a bedroom for her and we'll make a fairly sizable one to make it a little easier for her to have an impressive bedroom. We will go and trim down some of these walls and things later on. But for now, let me just go and put this little block here for her bedroom. We're going to make sure that this is going to be part of the home area. So and like so we can clear that out. We'll put a flooring in for her move her bed in there and then give her give her some extra furniture as well um for her room once that all gets set up where are you off to i hope oh you're harvesting more heal root that's fine okay good stuff what did we allow across the map? probably a dead animal sorry my home key is or sorry not my home key. yeah my home key is overloaded a bit with uh with different things it's the thing that uh does the camera follow and it unforbids things which every night i'm like i should really go and change those shortcuts that the uh, mods default to, but nah, this is fine. All right, just gonna have a little snoozle. That's gonna be fine. In defenses, bedroom unhappiness, I know, need batteries, need research bench. I guess I might wanna go and set up the um, the defenses pretty quickly too. So, plan is gonna be right over here. I'm gonna do that. Um, Hang on. How do I wanna do this? Because if I'm just setting up our little defense structure. We do this. And then we want to force people to walk on this area while our people can zigzag. So we need a little bit more structure that will do that. We'll just use some fence because it uses very little material. And so if we do this, um, in attackers will want to run down this area over here. And what we can do is we can just place hope here to pull them in. She can take a couple of shots at them and then pull back and they'll run over the traps. And that's probably going to be good for our first defense. Um... I guess I can do this and then put your bedroom door here. Yeah, okay. That seems fine. Got that corner there. Yeah, that seems a-okay. What are you off to there? Hope. Oh, you're picking up. Yeah, the herbal meds and things like that. That's all good and fine. And we've got this wood over here. We're going to do a little construction. That's okay, too. Oh, botched on the trap. Really? With the sixth construction? Is there... If we look at construction as a filter here. Success chance. 95%. I'm a little... All right. All right. I guess things are tricky. Why are you moving so slow? Are you just going for a walk? Oh, you're just going for a walk. Okay. Let's say I'm on the fastest speed. Why aren't you being speedier? Okay. <clears throat> Try these traps again. And yeah, she's going to be able to wiggle through this. That's not going to be a block for her at all. Could also put another door here. That might keep things flowing a little bit easier, but let's not worry about that right now. Be extra time, a little extra material. Not that the wood material is a big deal. And hopefully we've got enough wood. But if we have to chop down a few more trees, that's fine. This pathing choice is interesting. Oh, maybe she couldn't use that door before it was constructed. Oh, and it's her first rice harvest. Okay. There you go, good. You put it in the hopper and you're using it immediately. Saving us some survival meals already. Great. Very good, okay. I don't know, if I put a door here, would it speed up the pathing through there? Yeah, and uses more materials and not entirely sure, but nah, probably it is faster. Just save a tiny scooch of time. Okay, there we go. That's gonna be your bedroom, although it's far from fancy right now. But we'll ask for a reinstall ad over there. We'll plan an end table. We'll give you a dresser. And then we'll floor this place up and hope it becomes all purdy like 
Uh, we'll give you a light in there because if you're spending time in the room doing like prayer or meditation, I think you will be unhappy in the dark. So we'll probably give you a light. At least we'll prep for it. That's going to be fine. The night's sleep. Your mood is still fine right now. Oh, yeah. Um, and maybe a heater. Temperature, heater, because you keep getting slept in the cold. Yeah, it's only nine degrees. We, I mean, we are moving into the summer here. Maybe we can live without the heater for a little bit. You can you can suck up another uh, another mood debuff slightly. The minus four is not the end of the world, especially with all the modifiers we got going on. I mean, right now we got the psychic soothe and everything, which is just wonderful for us. Oh, yeah, I thought I, I probably unforbid a uh, random dead animal there with my hitting the home button. Which isn't the optimal thing to go around hauling, but I guess it's not the end of the world. Yeah, power shortage is here when there's no wind. That's why we will need the batteries. Which means we need to get our research going. Um, these rocks, I'm just going to go and put a haul. Hauling's not a very high priority job, so she won't rush it. But yeah, we'll just clear it out of this field. I don't think it's really blocking anything, but it's kind of annoying me. Again, not very time efficient to worry about these stones right now, but I think I'm going to do it anyway. So I think this field is going to be... <coughs> how big is this? Excuse me. Oh, 45. Yeah, that's way more uh, um, tiles worth of food than we need for just one person. But hopefully we will get more people quite quickly. Now, if we were playing Cassandra Classic, we'd basically be guaranteed to be getting events that fire that have just random people joining us. Um, because with Cassandra, if you have fewer than... Well, certainly if you have fewer than three, but I think if it's up to four... Um, she can, there's an event in the pool that, um, people can randomly join you and Cassandra's fairly likely to fire those off. I think with Randy and the way things are weighted, I think he can fire them off. They are in the legal pool for him up until a certain population, but because he has the ability to fire just about anything, I think he's much less likely to trigger the thing that has a random person join us, which is too bad because we could really use that. Maybe I should have started with Cassandra classic, but no, Randy random the whole way. We're going to see how it goes. So she's doing a different type of recreation here. I don't know what the recreation efficiency of stargazing is. Like if we look at the horseshoe pin, um, recreation power 100%. And then later on, we get some stuff that's over 100%. I wonder if stargazing is at 100% or if it's better. I don't think it matters which room she sleeps in right now. So I'm not going to worry about rushing her to move this bed. We got some visitors. Oh, from Lelodium. With a few items to trade. I mean, we do have some silver. Has it been hauled in? Yeah, it is. Okay. We'll let you get a little closer and we'll go talk to the Mandalorian. Yeah, I think we need a door. Well, there is this door. I, I might. I think I'm going to add a door here, though. We could buy some package. For, oh, we can buy components. Always buy components, of course. We could buy some regular medicine, which seems like a good idea. We're far away from being able to build mortars. Although the sooner we trade, whenever you trade, you lose money, um, which is good for lowering your wealth. So we could spend some of our cash buying the reinforced barrels. That might be a smart thing to do. The smart thing to do might be to spend all our cash. The alternative is to hold on to our cash for uh, whoever the next trader is. But I think this is actually a very good idea. Done. In theory, our wealth here might have gone down ever so slightly from this. I'm going to put a priority haul on this stuff, please. Yeah, she really isn't using this door. This zigzag, is she... Oh, I wonder if this tree stump might be a problem. Let's go and clear that out of there. I'm actually wondering if that might be causing this pathfinding cost to be so high. And at some point, we'll get this door. You know what? Here. Start... I'm going to force you to do the door first, actually. There. Excellent. I'm using the replace stuff mod to make it a lot easier to place something on top of something else. Because it's really annoying otherwise. Or crystal. Okay, you're going to do this construction? That's fine. A little more hauling. Um, these survival meals are, are, don't actually have to be in the freezer. Maybe I'll turn that off then, just to save us some move, some space in here. Oh, well, it's a pretty big freezer. We'll probably want to double wall it later. Once it actually becomes a freezer, for example. 
Okay, let's plan our research bench. Uh, yeah, we'll put it back here. Not enough metal, not enough wood. Okay. A compact machine, we don't need that, but we will go and just mine out a couple of tiles here. Oop, did I not click you? There we go. Mine out a little bit of that. And there you go. Harvest a few fully grown trees just to get maximum wood for our effort. Your mining skill is, yeah, non-existent, so it's going to be super slow. And the yield's going to be lower, which is unfortunate. I guess we could have you practice by just chopping away at some marble. We do have marble on this map. So granite, limestone, marble. Okay, I like that. Because both granite and limestone are very hard rocks. Marble is pretty, so we can use that for, say, our internal walls to add some beauty in places. I'm wondering if I should force her to chop down some stone to at least get the first level or two of mining skill. Just for the extra yield, but I don't know. Actually, the thing to do might be to deconstruct this stuff. Let's do that. Do we want to deconstruct this these statues as well? Sandstone. I mean, I guess that doesn't matter too much. We could just leave them there for now. But yeah, these steel walls, we can go and deconstruct those and get some material out of that. That would be okay. Awful bedroom. I know. We need to floor this as well. Just to make it better. It might still not become impressive. But it'd be a start. Um... Maybe we get our stone cutting going and start carving um, marble blocks and then put a marble floor in here. That'd go a long way. Yeah, maybe we do that. Okay. Long wood to construct that. That's fine, I suppose. Nutrient paste is okay. We also need some recreation soon. But yeah, let's get these built. I guess it's going to slow down our start to research. Oh, okay. Decay blighters attacking immediately. This should be the single melee person. Yeah, all right. Um, What's your shooting skill for? Eh, it's not great. It's not the worst. Actually, no. I do want to stand here. I suppose if I pull back means this person will attack the door, but it's not the worst thing, because we can probably bait you in somewhere else. Shoot him one time. Good. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Pull back! Stop aiming! Oh my god. Why did that door take so long to close? The thing is, they've got a leg injury. Oh, okay, now we've been stabbed too. Okay, hold on. you got to melee attack this person. Without an actual melee weapon. All because you didn't stop aiming quickly enough. I wonder if I'd unrecruited and re-recruited Hope if it would have reset her her shoot cooldown. No, she's gonna get stabbed to death here. It's terrible. Okay, he's down. That's great. Um, immediately tend to yourself. And yeah, I guess all you're looking is to patch some things off. Tending to Hope. There we go. You're grabbing some regular medicine. Uh, you are bleeding to death. I think we we're going to probably... Well, I don't know, actually. Are we going to stop you from bleeding to death in time? All your all your stats are, slow, are lowered, so you're going to be tending yourself worse. I'm not too worried about quality right now. Although a better quality tend would help to ward off possible infection. I can't believe we didn't get through that door quickly enough. That's so annoying. Because we've got fast mover and everything. Like, we should be able to kite this person all day, every day. I just needed that door to close. So my plan was then to move over here. This person might have path through. They might have decided to destroy the whole door, but... Okay, you're fully tended, so you're not bleeding anymore, which is good. Um, let's strip this person's clothes. I don't think it matters, and we're going to haul you so that you're not rotting inside the base, please. But then after that, I'm perfectly fine with you doing some bed rest. I don't know if the bed rest now is going to affect the chance of getting an infection, but it should help with the recovery speed of these things, which is giving us some pretty huge debuffs right now. And I might pop you out of bed once you do reach 100% sleep, because we kind of need you up and about in general. But I'm okay with you getting a little bit of rest right now. Seems like the right time for it. Minor break rescue. You're in pretty miserable shape. 
You're also quite hungry. I'm going to wake you up because, yeah, you're going to go eat. If you do get an infection, being fully fed is an important part of the recovery for that. So now she's not sleeping. Did get the absorbed corpse. That's too bad. Maybe it makes sense because she's getting such a debuff from the intense pain. Maybe it does make sense to try to get her as much bed rest as possible. It'd be nice if she were just asleep right now because she wouldn't actually break. But yeah, if that can be lessened a little bit faster with some bed rest. Can't force you to do recreation, huh? It's too bad. Can't force you to eat either. Oh, I could. I can't force it this way, but I can do it this way. Oh, and you do fall asleep again. Okay, so that's back up to full. Stats are getting a little bit better. Intense pain is still there. Mood's still not fantastic. Oh, uh, yeah, you're awake and in the darkness, and you're unhappy about that. Yeah. So what? We'll get you to build this lamp immediately. There you go. Now you're going to go eat so you won't be ravenously hungry. You might do a little recreation. Yeah, good. That'll help your mood as well. Yeah. You're sweaty. What's the temperature? Ooh, 31. All right. Yeah, no, it's pretty toasty. I was going to set up the um, the heater in here, but maybe what I need to think about more is the air conditioner so you don't get the slept in the heat debuff. It'd be great if you were actually sleeping. Oh, you are. Good. Okay, I think, and you still have the uh, uh, intense pain. I'm going to go and turn off the bed rest for you. So as soon as you're awake here, get up and go back to work doing things. Oh, a botch. I mean, she might have reduced stats right now because of her injuries. Okay, we'll plant some air conditioner. I don't think you have the material for it. You might now. Yep. Make sure to prioritize that so your bedroom gets sealed in again, please. You're still moving slowly. Has the pain. Still intense pain. Slept in the heat. Well, that'll get better in a second, hopefully. And this whole prioritizing this doesn't seem to be as prioritizing. Yes. Oh my god. Why are you like this? So I think she is in her sleep schedule right now. Yeah. We might not worry about it too much. Should I change you to biphasic schedule already? A solar flare, no power. Uh, okay. I guess this is a good enough time for it to happen. I think we are going to need more material than this. You know, you're not going to be doing this very quickly. Pain severe... But you, you went through it without any infections, which is good, because that battle went just nearly as badly as it could go without us losing any limbs or getting an infection. It's actually quite miraculous. Like, it was as bad as it could go without those things happening. So we're very lucky. Oh my god, you're going so slow. Hey, level one mining. We go up ever so slightly. Solar flares ended. They, they're never very long. Drinking beer. Dude, there's only 4% to go here. Can you just finish that? Then you can go and do whatever you want. Thank you. Yeah. So I think this she's doing this for recreation. She's pretty miserable. Can you? No, you can't. Actually, cancel this. Get the steel back. Cancel this. Get the steel back. Now do you have enough? Yes. Good. Okay. Yeah, there's a smattering of steel in a bunch of different places, which is not very ideal. Oh, we got a transport pod crash. Hope. Hair like a Bayesia is really annoying. We do have a lot of um, Glitter World medicine, although we probably need some skill as well. Okay, so you're an enemy, so we'd have to capture you. And keep you alive for a long time and fed for a long time. You're a great researcher. Jealous is actually kind of annoying. Um, No. If we reject you, is that the thing that makes the colonists unhappy? 
So maybe I should accept you and then leave you to die. I'm just going to do a reject here because I'm not sure. Deny joining minus three. Okay, that's not the end of the world. I suppose we could have harvested your organs. Oh, could you fin hope. finish your cooler? You probably already have the slept outside debuff from like the, the seconds there. There we go. Temp outside is 34, inside 21. So that's going to be good and comfortable for the heat. You still have the slept in the heat, but that's from before. Now it's gone. Okay. Initial hope is starting to fade. <laughs> I don't blame you, Hope. I don't blame you at all. Although your name is now slightly ironic, I suppose. Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to put back in... Do I want to do this first for the bedroom? No, I think we have to... We have to get the research bench. Actually, hold on. We need this first. Oh, did I just cancel both? Whoops. So that this is indoors again. And yeah, we want to work in a comfortable temperature. We're going to have to mine out some more. Uh, are we still deconstructing that? Construction is above mine. Yeah, good. Okay. So if I do go and declare some mining over here, you're still going to deconstruct that stuff first. We're not going to get a lot of steel out of that, but, you know, it's some, so that's okay. And yeah, if we look at the rice here, the fresh rice here, it's 40 days. It lasts a long time. I think we are growing quite a lot more rice than we need for hope. Maybe I would have had enough to feed the dog. Oh, well. Oh, that's slate. Yeah, we'll deconstruct it anyway. Can we move these? Can we claim? No. Yeah, so we may as well just deconstruct them. Oh, you can play horseshoes from outside the fence. Okay. The natural barrier for, like, to shoot from behind. Instead of drawing a line in the sand or whatever. Uh, now we got the negative psychic drone. That's not helpful. Minus 12? Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's not good. Oh, yeah, the rotting corpse is still there. Um, hold on. Miscellaneous. Grave. I mean, just build the one really quick. And... What? You lost strangers. Why can't I right-click on you? To bury you. What? You're allowed. Oh, maybe it's a priority thing. Oh! Preferred? Was this set to preferred? Instead of imp I thought it was important. Okay, there. You're gone. Alright. I mean, you're still kind of the debuff for a while. Rotting corpse. Okay. But it is going to go away. Finish the harvest. Sure. No power right now, but that's, I guess, okay. Well, you're quite hungry. You need the power back for this. No, you'll need a survival meal. That's why we need our batteries. Another transport pod crash. From the Empire. We catch you, but it'll anger the faction. Oh, speaking of faction, my quests here. Um, I'm going to turn off all the goodwill rewards, and I'm not going to do the honor side of things this time around. I mean, theoretically, to build up alliances, we could get goodwill with these two, for example. Um, but right now, I think I just want the maximum choice of rewards. So... You might join us. You can't violent, which isn't great. You are an amazing crafter. Instructor, minor, cook doesn't matter for us. Okay, well, we'll rescue you. Let's slap down a... Just a sleeping spot. I'll flag one of them for medical explicitly. And Hope, who is currently miserable. Let's go and... I don't strip you without getting a penalty? Interesting. But we'll just go for the rescue right now. But yeah, Hope is miserable. She's still in pain. And we... We got a Zot with no batteries. Okay, at least the fire got put out basically immediately. That's good. Tend to you. Get us a little bit more medical XP, I guess. Yeah, go sleep. You need, you need the mood boost here. 
Jeez. That low psychic drone is really bad timing right now. There's blood everywhere. I guess that's not helping our moods either. We can do a quick cleanup. It might be worth um, putting the cleaning tool one just for just for a sec, just to clean up all this blood. Yeah, that's that's pretty miserable. It's not going to stay clean because we do have the um, the rotten floor. I think we're definitely going to be excited about the mech stuff. Although I don't know if we can bring the mechs with us when we move from one colony to another, but we'd still have, I guess, the high crafting skill. I don't even know if we could bring like our mechanator helmet with us. Wow, that's I mean, that's some deep blood. I think that's multiple layers of blood. It's taking a long time. All right. So you are fully healed. Are you just going to leave? It's too bad. It would have been great to have you join us. Didn't cost us much resource. A little bit of medicine, maybe some herbal medicine. Speaking of, I don't see any more herbal medicine here. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. Double click harvest fully grown. You're going for a walk. Yeah, well, if you got to keep your recreation up. That's fine. I'm wondering if, if it might be valuable to go to biphasic immediately. Usually I don't rush it. Um, you know, just for simplicity here, we're going to do zero one and then those two. And we'll do an enforced recreation right here. Uh, no. I don't know how I normally do it. Just because of the uh, nighttime. People don't really want to be in the dark. Maybe I'll leave this here. Yeah. Then minus 12 would be those two. Oh. Oh, not us. Cadsel over here is being attacked by Lynx. Um. Huh. Well. Sucks to be. I could try to kill the Lynx here, but it would be a risk on hope. So relationship switching went down. We tried to save you, and unfortunately, we could not. Um, let's go and prioritize working on a grave. And we are going to strip you down. I don't know if we'll gain much from it. I'm a little bit worried about this timber wolf because that's not the one that went aggro, and it could potentially have attacked Hope because she while she was nearby. Okay, well, everyone's having some pretty bad luck here. Oh, hope you're injured, so you're sleeping, you're resting there. Um, it's not a great high quality bed. Just don't don't do that for now. Maybe I should build an extra bed right away, an actual bed and flag it for medical stuff. Your mood's actually manageable now. Oh, I didn't realize the uh, the stuff went away. That's good. We do have the arc, the uh, arco surroundings, the tables over here. Powers dipped again. Oh, can we work on this cooler, please? Um, then then they're going to are out of steel. Okay. It is important to cycle this, even though, again, I feel like we've got a good amount of food for now, but stockpiling, it's not the worst. Some of it might start to rot out, but that's going to have to be okay. Oh yeah. And then the plants. Oh, too bad about the botch there. You're fully healed. Oh, that's great news. Pod sprout. Um, I'm not impressed by the, uh, the dried system in the game. I will go and harvest this because we can sell it for like. 50 silver worth of stuff, so that's not bad. I did feel like a fair amount of this herbal medicine to be mined out here, but I think that's okay. What are you up to now? Going for a rest? Okay. I know your bedroom's still not fancy. It's awful. Could be worse. Could be a lot better. Oh, power went out. I'm still fine in there. Yeah, and outside, so yeah, we're okay here. Group of travelers. We're not going to be kidnapping anyone at this point in the game. That was unfortunate that you did die off. Yeah, all, all of this is tainted. Yeah, all of it's tainted. We might be able to sell it to someone at some point, but oh, um, I'm going to go and bring the cleaning back down to just a three here. We don't need to be that aggro about it anymore. The disaster of the blood pool has been corrected. Yeah, I may have I may have designated too wide an area for the heal route. But we'll have a decent amount of stockpiled. Are you going to have smoke leaf joint? Sure. That's fine. Yeah, just need a bunch of steel. We're going to rest now. All oh, right, with our biphasic schedule, that's okay. We're going to keep her mood way high up. So the idea with the biphasic schedule here is, in theory, Hope's going to sleep the exact same amount over 24-hour period. They're just going to be two smaller chunks of it. Um, and it means that at an even point, if there's an emergency, she's never going to be too tired. 
And we might even add a second recreation period. Uh, if you do get your recreation to 100%, then you just go and act like it's in any period. Hope will work, even though it's flagged for recreation, if she's fully satisfied in recreation. But again, it means no matter what's going on, she's going to be pretty full on her sleep need as well as her recreation need, um, which gives us a buffer. High on smoke leaf is a pretty big mood boost. I think the biphasic is quite good for getting the um, the inspirations as well, because I think it's if you wake up while in a good mood. Ooh, I don't like being that close to that links. Harvest. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. Did I accidentally like do the entire screen? I'm going to select all heal root on the map and then just cancel it so that we're we're no longer harvesting things. Maintaining wind turbine. Right, that is a mod that I have in here that changed the gameplay. I'm running. Is it called Fluffy's Breakdown? Instead of having a random chance or something to break down and eating a component, instead we spend time maintaining it, which I, f I, I just feel like it feels better. I feel like it's a little more realistic. It's less random. Um, in a sense, it's easier because you're not chewing through a million components. But on the other hand, you do spend a lot more time with these maintenance activities. So we're exchanging time for components in a way that feels better to me. So it's, it's, that's probably the most significant exception to my uh, to this mod set being basically vanilla. Yeah, we may as well did the extra graves. Sure, why not? Especially if it gives you some construction XP and then you'll go and deconstruct. I think we're still going to need to do some mining before we get around to um, having enough steel over here, which is still a little annoying. That's more slate, which isn't very helpful. Oh, you're building a cooler. We might have enough because I don't think you bring the steel until there's enough. Oh, you did do a little bit of mining. That's good. Three more steel over there. Not a very efficient stack, but sure. Now you're doing cloud watching. Oh, there. Yeah, it is possible to continue building it. Probably recreation into sleep period here. You know what? I'm going to force you to work on this. Just let's, let's, let's just get it done. There we go. This is properly internal again. And yeah, it was actually a little toasty. Sad refugee. Theo. Theo claims to have lost his home in a recent attack. Begs permission to stay at the calling for five days so he can rest and regroup. Offers to work. Make him happy. Might join us. We don't know his true intentions. I'm going to say yes to this. And we are going to construct ourselves a bed over here. Hey, Theo. What do you like? Your jogger? You're not a brawl. You don't have any shooting skill, but you can shoot. You're an expert cook, which we don't need. The intellectuals very nice. The intellectual is very nice. Oh, we have a name already. Um, so the settlement's going to be switching constantly. <sighs> Arco. And you like, I, I'm like trying to find a way to mix archaeology with Arco Nexus, but it's kind of redone. I'm like Arcology. Wait, Nexology? Nexology Research Group. I like that. And then for our um, for the settlement, which was not going to last forever, I'm just going to call it Hope's Landing. I like that. So the Nexology Research Group is our faction. Nice. I mean, you could plant, but I don't think we'll spend time doing this. You might as well mine, because honestly, Hope's not very good at it either. We can leave the crafting on because you can make blocks for us and stuff like that. Okay. All right. Theo. Let's do this. Hope. We'll let you get the full night's sleep. That's fine. Oh, um, we may as well copy the schedule over here. Theo's got a minor brick risk, which isn't ideal. You're new oh, there's no power. Darn it. Make the bed so Theo will have his own bed immediately. Good. He'll go back to deconstructing the stuff. That's fine, because we're going to need a little bit of it, because um, especially with Theo being a decent researcher, it's going to be that much nicer to get this research bench up and running ASAP. There you go. He's doing some mining. Oh, we did a little bit of uh, proselytizing over there. Might not be the worst thing ever. Hope is going to help to mine until, unless she's got enough metal to do some construction. Um, any chance we're waiting on wood? Oh, we might be. Hold on. Let's go harvest fully grown over here. Get a bunch of wood going on. Hope if I reset you, yeah, you're going to go chop down some trees. Nice. 
And there's more wood than we need in the short term, although we will certainly need it, but I guess I'll cancel some of that. I don't particularly care to do the stumps. The Harvest Fully Grown always selects the stumps as well. Oh, everyone's going to be miserable for me out in the rain. Major break risk on Theo. Wait, dislike Xenotype. Oh, you are dis- Oh, your ideology! Supremacist. Are you... Wait, you're a baseliner. What xenotype? Oh, it's pigskin. See, I should totally convert you. Why would you be a self-hating baseliner? You know? At least you won't break while this is happening. Boredom unhappiness. Oh, bedroom unhappiness. Never mind. We are going to need more entertainment soon, but. Poor old Theo. And recreation unfulfilled. I mean, we've got recreation options for you. But admittedly, not much. Maybe we should get a chess table up soon. Hope, what are you up to? Chopping down trees out in the thunderstorm. Seems pretty miserable. Ah, oh, there you go. You're going to have some fun. Good. If we get them two to play chess together, it'd be nice. And Hope and Theo. Nice, you know, two four letter names, you know, nice and short. Both one. As I say, one syllable. But Theo, I guess, is two, isn't it? All right. Research up. How much do we want to prioritize Theo spending time researching? I think this is fine. I don't think we're going to be mining much more. Tumberwolf is hunting hope. All right. First of all, where is it? it? Doesn't get flagged as an enemy. Down there. Okay. Recruit, come over here. Theo, stand in front. And we have to. We have to tell Hope. Oh, do you have not have a line of sight? Yeah. We have to tell Hope to start shooting manually here because it doesn't get flagged as an enemy unit. Oh, maybe I should have hidden behind the traps. It's probably fine. Theo, you're probably fine. Both of our people are joggers. Go inside. We hit you. You're probably moving a little slower as well. Good. I'm going to get Hope to run over here so we can use the traps. Now you're actually going to move properly. There we go. Good. Oh, you're going through that way. That's not entirely what I meant, but okay. Is the wolf still coming? Oh, it's not. It... Okay. Why are they not using the zigzag over here? You're still not on vengeance mood, which is crazy. I think you just moved out of range. Um, Theo... Stay inside, stay in the door just to jam it open, actually. I mean, I can do that. No, 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 there we go. Okay, hunting hope again. That's fine. You know, you're insisting on pathing that way. How bizarre. I think the wolf breaks the hunt off every time we move indoors. Okay, now it's actually on revenge mode. So now it should come for us. There we go. Okay. Uh, we might want a butcher table. I don't know if I'm going to prioritize building it. And yes, it's outside outdoors. That's fine. I'm okay with this. You're going to eat a meal. Then you'll mine a little bit more. I'm going to cancel this mining. You know what? Actually, I'll cancel that too. We've got enough steel. You Okay, you're going to rest. But you should start, unless you're doing a little cleaning first, which is okay, you should start doing some research for us. And if you stick around, I'm going to build a second research bench. Uh, shit's on fire and it's no longer raining. Everyone wake up and go fight those fires before they spread to our house, our wooden house. Okay. No, don't clean that, Theo. Anything else on fire? Mmm. It's too big, I think, for us to fight. We're going to have to hope we get another period of rain before it becomes a problem. Research is a go, that's great. Hope, what are you up to? Dealing with our crops, that's okay too. Theo's probably not enjoying the nutrient paste meals. Actually, he might be eating the, um, the survival meals. What I might wanna do, 
Nah. I was gonna say, I might want to set a food rule to prevent people from eating the survival meals right now. I guess I could just block them this way. Because if the power's down, they can't eat the nutrient-based dispenser, but maybe they'll just have to suck up at it and wait for the power to come back. Hey, some rain. Good. Okay. Put out that fire, please. Thank you. Get all that rice in here. That's okay. Battery research is going to go so much better. Because if we compare, like, Hope's research speed, it's probably going to be at 10%. 16% of base. And then Theo is where he's searching at 100% speed. So apparently, um, at about 8 is when you get the 100% research speed, as it turns out. No power right now is a little annoying. Well, people might end up eating raw food, which should be less than great. I wonder if I should explicitly... Okay, for now, manage food restrictions. So lavish is at the top. This is the one that everyone gets by default when they walk on the map. I like to rename this DEFAULT in all caps to make it clear. Let's turn off raw food other than um, berries. There we go. I don't want anyone just eating the rice. If they have to go hungry for a little bit and we'll get the warning about it, it's going to be okay. Then as soon as the power's back up, they can use the nutrient paste dispenser because right now they can't eat the survival meals and they're no longer, they've been told not to eat any raw rice. Anyway, they, ha they have to be really desperate, I think, before they go and eat raw food, but this, I think, is for the best. And I am running the animal controls thing. So I'm going to do a new restrictions here for um, animal. And it's going to have... It's just not going to allow meals. The rest of the defaults, everything turned on, corpses, fine. Manufactured? Okay, well, don't eat the drugs either, I suppose. Yeah, otherwise, otherwise we can leave everything enabled. Maybe not the baby food. Chocolate's bad for you. Not the pemmican. And then I'm going to set this as the default for animals. So these... This is not something you can do in vanilla. But I get very frustrated trying to handle animal food stuff in vanilla. So I'm happy about this. Oh, we're 42 minutes into this episode. It's definitely time to put a cut in here. I hope you're enjoying this run. I, I already am liking it. I like Hope. I think she's cool. I really hope Theo joins us because that's going to do great things for us. Literally, like just research nonstop. We'll give you the research specialist role once we convert you. Um, we might need a third person to be able to like properly. No, I bet you we can do specialist roles with just with just two. That's probably fine. Um, we'll put down, you know, just a little ritual spot and that'll be OK. That would be quite good. And then, yeah, Hope is probably going to become the converter because you do have the social skill. It makes a lot of sense for you to be in that role. I like it. Anyway, as always, uh, liking and commenting makes a big difference on YouTube. So if you can drop those, that would be much appreciated. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye bye.